Greetings to all learners. Myself Sharda Devre, Associate Professor, Government College of Pharmacy, welcomes you to the lecture 9, that is workshop 3, Cultivation or Agnotic Mix of Few Medicinal Plants, that is Senna, Opium, Kalmik, Bringaraj, Bauchi, etc. Under the week 2, Raw Material, Cultivation, Collection and Processing. Let's learn the agrotechnics of very popular medicinal plant that is a senna, which is called as senna kipatti, sona mukhi or cache senna. It is also called as tineveli senna because of the geographical location that is a tineveli part of the south India where this plant is cultivated and its major uh, useful part it is a leaflet. Uh, it contains the chemical constituents that are uh, uh, anthraquinone glycosides, senoside, ABCD and it's a glycone. It is a very good purgative, laxative and useful in treatment of various types of the constipation issues. Its method of propagation is by seed. Seeds need to be soaked uh, overnight and then by broadcasting or bedding its cultivation can be started. Two times we can cultivate this plant in the month of February, March or October, November. It requires uh, uh, some alkaline soil, red loamy or coarse, moderate temperature with a dry summer, it is the climatic condition requirement. Temperature up to 35 degrees Celsius, rainfall up to 40 centimeter and altitude up to 900 meter is the requirement. It is a semi-irrigated crop. Uh, five to six irrigations are sufficient. Then uh, organic fertilizers, if organic farming is preferred, a leaf spot is the common disease that is found to be get affect with that. And according to that, uh, pesticides like diethin or uh, the uh, bio pesticides, that is a plant pesticides of the neem or pyrethrum can be used. Harvesting should be done after the two, three months of the sowing. And it can be done in 30 days interval at three times by plucking the leaves. The leaves uh, and the pods need to be dry in a shade and then further uh, to reduce the moisture up to the uh, 10%. It can be stored in the bales under the hydrolytic pressure that you can see here and then uh, it especially should be dried in a sunlight. Why this is so? Because anthraquinone glycosides get affected uh, due to the direct sunlight exposure. They get oxidized and hence uh, it is generally dried in a shade. Its yield is about 200 kg dried leaves per hectare. There are these uh, varieties which are mentioned that is uh, KKM, then ALFT2, SONA. These are uh, commonly used. Heavy rains and cloudy weather during the growth are harmful for this crop and sun drying is avoided to prevent the loss of the senocides. So uh, this is very important Ayurvedic drug and it has captured the uh, global market especially for natural purgative or laxative action and uh, its uh, processing or its value-added products are also very simple its powder is mostly uh, sell in the market but nowadays its its extract is also found to be uh, its place in global market next medicinal plant is opium poppy it is called as a raw, raw uh, opium. It is a dried latex obtained from the unripe capsules of Papaverum somniferum, Fapelli, uh, pa Papaveraci. So it is not any part of the plant. That is, it is actually latex. So it is called as unorganized. Means it is not involving any organ of the plant. So latex is the unorganized form of the this opium poppy. Its chemical constituents are uh, various alkaloids that is papaverin, morphine, codeine, thebane and these are found to be hypnotic, sedative, analgesic. It is useful in diarrhea as a constipating agent. Codeine relieves the local irritation in the bronchial tract and it acts as an anti sieve. It is mild analgesic relaxant to the smooth muscles. Actually papaverin is a relaxant to the smooth muscles. Uh, morphine is uh, uh, more... Uh, strong sedative uh, hypnotic action having uh, chemical constituent present in the latex and codeine is uh, very popular means all we know about its uh, utilization in the cough and cold that is uh, by reducing the local irritation in the bronchial tract its method of propagation is by sowing the seeds or by broadcasting or in a line uh, its time of propagation is October to November. It requires the neutral pH uh, soil with the fine sands. Then cool weather without cloudiness and sufficient sunshine is requirement uh, of this uh, uh, medicinal plant that is opium poppy. 
अप टू थर्टी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस टेम्परेचर कूल एंड ड्राई वेदर देन मीडियम रेनफॉल एंड मीडियम मीडियम अल्टीट्यूड इट कैन बी कल्टिवेटेड अबाउट टेन टू फिफ्टीन इरीगेशन आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस क्रॉप एंड एनपीके फर्टिलाइजर्स और अदर ऑर्गेनिक फर्टिलाइजर्स कैन बी यूजफुल हार्वेस्टिंग टाइम इज दैट वेन ओपीएम स्टार्ट फ्लॉवरिंग इन नाइंटी फाइव टू वन वन फिफ्टीन डेज आफ्टर सोइंग Uh, the capsules mature after 15 to 20 days of the flowering then lancing may be done early in the morning before 8 am here you can see that uh, the lancing is done here and it should be two days interval in each capsule the crop is left uh, for drying for about 20 to 25 days and when the last lancing on the capsule stops exudation of the latex when the capsule stops the exudation of latex then uh, you can stop the lancing capsules incised vertically in afternoon with the help of specific needle like apparatus called as a nuster in the next morning scraped and uh, collected by an iron scoop called as a charpala in a sunlight so uh, throughout the night this particular latex gets dried and you require the two um, two types of these special devices that is a nuster and charpala it gives about 25 to 26 kg per hectare of the seeds and 4 to 5 uh, quintals per hectare of the uh, latex these are the various varieties of the opm poppy available for cultivation that is a talia then ranga tak ढोला छोटा गोतिया एमओ थ्री एमओ पी थ्री एमओ पी सिक्सटीन शमा श्वेता देन बी आर ओ पी वन कीर्तिमन चेतक जवाहर अफीम दीज आर द डिफरंट वरायटीज ऑफ दी सोपियम पॉपी एंड दीज आर डेवलप बाय द वेरियस वेल नोन इंस्टिट्यूट दैट इज सी आई एम ए पी लखनऊ और जवाहरलाल नेहरू कृषि विश्वविद्यालय और एन बी आर आई देन राजस्थान एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी देन नरेंद्र देव यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इज ऑफ फैजाबाद सो दीज आर द वरायटीज आईदर दे आर एल्डिंग दी हायर लैटेक्स more quantity of the latex or more quantity of the certain type of the uh, therapeutically important chemicals or commercially important uh, chemical constituents or uh, they are uh, they are, they can be cultivated in uh, particular climatic or seasonal conditions so uh, different varieties are there recently the another three varieties that is nbri3 sujata Uh, then opium pre uh, uh, poppy for the production of uh, oil that is a sujata and shubra for the high morphine uh, content these are the varieties released by the uh, various uh, institutes like this cimap then nbri and um, rrl the cultivation of the opium poppy is controlled by the narcotics commissioner government of india it is uh, its cultivation is carried out on behalf of the government by the growers who undertake to sow the poppy lance the capsules collect the latex and deliver the drug at the weighing center at price fixed by the government of india so uh, it is advisable it is suggested it is recommended that uh, uh, no one uh, uh, from the india can start the cultivation of the opm poppy without the permission of the uh, narcotics commissioner government of india a traditional initial advance is given to the cultivars in uttar pradesh at the time of sowing the opm received from the cultivars is sent to the government factories at gazipur or nimaj where it is chemically tested and prepared for the export and internal consumption next plant it is the kalmik which is called as bhuinim desi chiraita or crate its biological source is andrographis paniculata or its synonym is justicia paniculata it belongs to the family acanthaceae it leaves contains the bitter principles uh, that are deoxyandrographolide andrographolide and neoandrographolide basically it is a bitter tonic uh, and thus it is this is useful uh, for the purpose of uh, means its uses are laxative anthelmintic digestive stomachy it is also used as a expectorant or anti inflammatory the method of propagation is by the seeds seeds need to be soaked in water for 24 hours and then sown in the nursery beds in early september about uh, 650 to 750 g seeds are required for raising the nursery for 1 hectare of the land 
the soil requirement it is that it requires the fertile but sandy loamy to clay loamy soils and possibly with the irrigation it required the cool temperature medium rainfall rainfall and up to 1300 meter of the altitude four to six light irrigations are required till harvesting the fertilizers that are organic fertilizers uh, this is hardy plant and not attacked by the any pest or diseases so pesticides are not generally required then harvesting time it is that uh, 120 days uh, uh, when the most of the plants bloom with the flowers that time by uprooting its harvesting can be done after harvesting dry it in a sun uh, light for 2 days and then in shade for the complete drying the whole plant yield is about 2.5 ton per hectare this plant is very useful easy for cultivation and it is its demand is in various ayurveda siddha yunani preparations next commercially important medicinal plant it is a bhingaraj which is called as the bhangara or bhangara its biological source is eclipta alba synonym is eclipta prostrata family asteraceae its chemical constituents are alkaloid that is ecliptin and along with it also contains the other uh, other chemical constituents that is vadelolactones uh, it is very good antiseptic febrifuge tonic it is useful uh, in, in the treatment of the hepatic and sp uh, spleen enlargement and it is also used as a emetic uh, bringaraj is well known traditional medicinal plant for the uh, promotion of the hair growth it promotes the uh, hair growth very well and it is a constituent of ingredient of many uh, hair oils its method of propagation is either by the seed or the stem cuttings sampling raising in february march or uh, in a rainy season seedling can be transplanted in april may or august it requires the warm climate varied climatic conditions are I means in bringaraj found to be um, survive in the varied climatic conditions medium to high rainfall is required up to 1000 uh, meter of the altitude is good for this cultivation irrigation is uh, when the crop is uh, found to be uh, required that time uh, irrigation can be done organic fertilizer should be preferred no disease in particular is observed except the certain insect attack so according to that insecticides uh, especially you can spray with the uh, various essential oils if you are uh, utilizing the uh, bio pesticides then harvesting time it is a uh, 3 months the best time and stage for harvesting is a uh, 90 days after transplanting or at uh, early flowering stage it requires the shade drying after the harvesting Uh, pack in a gunny bags and keep in a cool and dry place about 8 ton per hectare during first cropping that is uh, april july and 3 uh, ton per hectare uh, of uh, uh, ratun crop that is august and september next traditionally very important medicinal plant is bauchi and it is called as bakuchi or papchi or purple flea bane its biological source is sorelia corylifolia and synonym is culen corylifolia belonging to family fabaceae this uh, plant contains the coumarin uh, glycosides that is a sorelin isosorelin along with the sterol uh, sterol contents it is very useful in leprosy lycoderma psoriasis and other skin diseases um we all know that psoriasis or leprosy like skin diseases are very uh, tough to cure and bavchi is the nature's blessings it is our traditional uh, medicine system's blessing to treat such a diseases its method of propagation is by seeds monsoon is the suitable season for its propagation variety of soils ranging from sandy medium to uh, sandy medium loam to black cotton soils are suitable for the cultivation sub tropical climatic conditions low to medium rainfall uh, medium altitude with two three irrigations are sufficient for this uh, medicinal plant that is a bauchi it requires the organic fertilizers or uh, sufficient uh, supply of the npk it is found to be affected with the powder mildew uh, uh, disease and hence uh, spraying wettable sulfur at the rate of 3% at weekly interval for 3 4 times is sufficient to combat this disease harvesting should uh, harvesting should be done after 200 days uh, 200 days of the sowing when the pods turn purple in color the seeds need to be collected after the complete drying of the pods shade uh, dry seeds are uh, generally preferred and then uh, after drying store in the gunny bags 1 to 1.2 uh, ton uh, per hectare of seeds at dry weight uh, is the yield of uh, this particular plant this is uh, 
very useful plant for the treatment of this in this lecture we have learned the cultivation or agro techniques of the uh, traditionally very important medicinal plants that are senna opium kalme pringara and pauchi uh, we have seen that they require the different climatic conditions or different soil conditions they are affected with the different diseases some are sown by the seed some are sown by the um, cuttings or some are sown by uh, by the nursery bed raisings and um, one of the uh, medicinal plant that is opium which required the government permission so according to the climatic conditions according to the uh, rainfall altitude we can select learners can select the plant for the cultivation opium should be uh, selected or it should be cultivated only after the proper government permissions thank you